Certain times with a research site, you will get FDA warning letters for drug accountability failures. Usually these come in for inspection for your site. They'll check to see if you control all the medication that you have and all the processes in place for that. If they see a site fails to comply with all that, um, they will send you a warning letter and there are a few things that you should keep notice of if you do get a warning letter. <clears throat> you can receive a warning letter for the following reasons. You have records of incomplete or incorrect distribution. An inadequate inventory of drugs was not maintained so records do not show or identify recipients of a particular batch of medication. There is a lack of drug accountability registries in relation to drug transfers between sites. Not keeping records of drug distribution during the study. Shipping invoices and dispensing records that in comparison show more drugs being administered than originally received. You can also receive letters for issues between forms of drug administration accountability, non-availability of dispensing drug records, study medication is missing or not accounted for, inaccurate or inadequate source documents, or the CRO failed to properly supervise the clinical trial and ensure compliance or stopping of unreliable clinical investigators. That does conclude our FDA warning letter for drug accountability. We hope this helps you give an idea of potential issues that can happen from the FDA. Of course, to get a comprehensive view, definitely inquire with your CRO or sponsor.